Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today we will discuss how to import data from SPSS to MS graphics and how to do measurement model. Remember in first video we discussed this uh, specific model. Now we have to import data. Remember that we always use SPSS file to import data. For data we have to select file double click here and bring your data wherever it is stored we open the data will be here I have sample size 250 click OK now I can verify the data is available here and also I can verify here list variables in data set when the data is successfully imported all variables will be listed over here now assume that I have these three independent variables product quality customer value and satisfaction which further impact customer loyalty I'll have positive associations I have these three variables listed here this is dependable so I have to bring all values from this data into this model now product quality is my first variable so I have to give a name to this Latin variable product quality we cannot put space here we only can uh, use this uh, underscore the second one is customer value and then customer satisfaction so click here customer value third one is customer satisfaction and this is customer loyalty now these are my three variables I have to bring all these observed variables. Now you can I have product quality 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it means that this product quality when I collected data is measured using 5 item scale. This customer value is measured using 7 item scale. Customer satisfaction is measured using 6 item scale. So I will extend my existing model to 5, 7 and 6. So what can I do? Let me uh, create a space and then use this window draw a Latin variable so 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 so now I have six items here and I need seven item for measuring customer value four already there three times more and then this one four already there two times more and go to preserve symmetries and move object draw down this one drag down this one and then uh, all are set together so now go to list variables in data set and drag all items here we just simply keep cursor and drag values now you can see here by mistake I draw one extra variables uh, item which should not be here because this is measured using five items so what can I do go to erase object and delete this now rest CV3 CV4 CV5 CV6 and CV7 and then CS1 CS2 CS3 4 five and six now customer loyalty is measured using seven items whereby I have only three so go to this and make them seven and then you can drag here and import all items just drag now you can see all Latin variables are named observed variables all data is imported only these error terms are not named one option is I go double click and variable name I can keep variable name E1 click here E2 but it will take time because there are too many error terms what can we do go to plus go down and unobserved variables Click here and all other variables are 
name automatically. These are called error terms. This is how we import data from SPSS file to MS graphics and our model. This is measurement model because we are covarying all latent variables. In second step, now we have to run this model and check whether our data is fit to the model or not. For that one, we go here, analyze properties and go to output and select these options, standardized estimate, residual moments, modification in case, covariance of estimates, correlations of estimates and factors uh, score weights. We check these options and then go here, calculate estimates, wait for a while, it will calculate the estimates. The moment estimates are calculated, this will turn red, which means that the data is successfully run. Now you can see here, there are many values you can find out which are listed, but these are above one, so probably the problem is here is we are looking to unstandardized estimate. Always we have to look standardized estimates when we are working on this graphics and measurement model. Now for checking model fit, we go to view text. Another window will open and go to Checking up because the data is heavy. Usually, it don't take much time, but this case just uh, probably because uh, the, the software is slow at the moment. So we go to model fit. Remember that for model fit, there are many values, but we only see few values. You can read literature which one to report, but usually RMSEA, root mean square, this we have to uh, report. And then we have to report GFI, AGFI, CFI, we also can report TLI, degree of freedom divided by this semen, uh, divided by degree of freedom, that is chi square divided by degree of freedom and the p-value we have to report. Now we have to see that the values should be greater than 0 0.90 in this case. But here the model value of GFI is 0 0.79 which is not good. So it's very less than the threshold value. So therefore we have to identify the problem. Remember these are called factor loadings. Minimum value for the factor loading should be 0 0.50. Any value less than that we simply have to remove or treat that specific item. In this case we have to check one by one which items have less than 0 0.50 value. So in this mod, uh, this specific variable uh, item number PQ5 has minus 0 0.02. This one 0 0.23, 0 0.29. This one is fine and here 0 0.13. So these are problematic items. So we go and delete these problematic items. So let's say we delete one by one and run. And check the text mod model fit. So there is slight increase in the GFI. AGFI, CFI is close to 0 0.90. This is also going better. Now you see every time when I run, I have to click on this window and open this uh, text and check one by one from different tables. What can we do? We go here to title and click here in this space and we can put formula fitness indexes. So what values we need we need p value so we write here p value is equal to slash p we need uh, r m s e a r m s e a we need gfi so gfi 
we also need a g f i then we need c f i so c f i then we also can report t l i and uh, finally we need chi square divided by degree of freedom so it is c min c c min b f now it is center on page if we will use this it will come here it will disturb our these relationships so we write left align and okay after this we can move anywhere and place so here let's say i am placing over here now this time when i run the model i don't need to go to view text rather it will appear on this window and very easy for me to make the decision now here is a problem a g f i so i did a mistake a f g i therefore this value is not appearing so i have to double click again and correct my mistake so a g f i and run look to these values which are above the values of threshold values so now i have to treat this let's say the values factor loading value is again 0.13 so i will remove this value then run the model now still uh, it's improving but still gfi is less this msea value should be less than 0.08 which is good fit this is fine this is a little bit lower than the threshold value this should be less than three which is also acceptable so i just need few more items and 0.23 and 0.29 that is cv4 cv3 we need to remove these two items and now you will see when i click the model will not run why because here you can observe there is one regression weight one regression weight but the moment i deleted what item i deleted the item with regression weight so therefore the model cannot run so we have to place regression weight on any item and then run the model so observe the values now almost achieved 0.89 if we round up then 0.90 this is also fine this is also fine is almost close you can move one item then it will work so here it is fine so we can conclude that our model is fit if still you want to increase this value above 0 .0, 0 0.90 you can look to the lowest value in the model and remove there are many other ways of increasing this good fit but in this video i just want to limit my discussion till this uh, good fit so to me removing item is not considered as a good as far as this is achieved try to retain your item in next video we will discuss how to do conversion validity and discriminant validity also we will discuss few other options how to handle the model if there is a problem in the goodness of this index we will discuss in detail thank you